babe, look. Hey guys, it is gonna be another busy weekend, which is fine. Definitely the busy time of year for us, so. But I have a lot of things to do with the baby goats. I have about 10 of them that I'm gonna have to tattoo because tomorrow they have their vet check. <clears throat> and a lot of them are going across the state line. So to have their vet check, they need to be tattooed, which if I sell them, they're tattooed. So, I got that to do, but I also have a ton of milk that I gotta figure out what to do with, um, which I have ideas. So I think I'm gonna make some ice cream and, and obviously milk for us to drink, some cheese, we haven't had farmer's cheese, stuff like that. So, we got a lot of stuff to do, better get going. Hello goat lovers, this is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family. So I'm going to do the make some milk products first before I get all inked up. What are your babies doing? You guys are getting so big. Hey little red. Silly willies. You're just little friendly guys. Just friendly. Look at those faces. You guys are precious. All right, I'll come play with you later. Bye, guys. Go into the garden. And this is why we have kitty kitties. Hmm. Good kitties. All right, so since I'm going to make farmer's cheese, an ice cream, I want to do a mint ice cream. So I'm going to get some mint and some herbs for the cheese. Let's see here. Alright, there's the mint. Ooh, rosemary, maybe. Hmm. Thinking parsley and dill. Or maybe dill and green onion. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, well for sure some mint, because I really want to do a mint ice cream. 
I have to infuse the milk. Mmm, that smells good. I think for my cheese, I'm going to do a little bit of parsley and dill. Just some little stuff. This dill is potent. And I want green onion. While I'm out here, I'm going to snack me some peas, which we have now, guys. Lots and lots of peas. Sugar snap peas are about my favorite. Oh, look at that bad boy. Love it. This is a beautiful thing, folks. This is a week's worth of milk that our girls have given us. And on top of that, they're also giving the babies their morning and evening um, milkings. So they're getting about, one, well, they're getting two gallons. So, and we are getting about a gallon a day ourselves, almost. So the girls, I mean, they're giving us a lot of milk for, for 14 does and five of which are first fresheners. So very proud of those girls. Now obviously, I'm not gonna make all of that in ice cream, but I gotta, first off, since I have all of that, I'm gonna skim the cream off of it. Maybe make some butter. Look at that. Gotta love the Nigies. Not too shabby. I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. Okay, so as I was preparing to make the ice cream, I realized, remembered, that I have two ribeyes we're gonna grill tonight. One for me and the husband. And now I have two jars of cream. I'm going to make the little kids make us some butter to put on top of our ribeyes. Now I could put it in one jar, but I don't wanna leave a kid out or anything. Plus, I can just act like, hey, it's a race, yay. They'll be a lot more likely to want to do it. Ha. All right, I got the base of my ice cream done. I'm gonna put it in the fridge so it cools off so we can have ice cream this evening for dessert. And now I gotta clean my mess and make farmer's cheese. And I'm really far behind. I still haven't even tattooed a goat. All right, I'm finally on the farmer's cheese which I'm really excited about because that means I get to crumble farmer's cheese on our garden salad this evening. Very excited about that. Haven't had it in a while. When your son's all over here like, oh hey mom, I see you're making a video and a tutorial. Let me make some eggs. Can I scramble some huevos? Oh, that's not even true. That's exactly what happened. No, you hmm. missed one word. All right, I got my cheese draining here. So while that's happening, I gotta wait about 15 minutes. These kids are gonna make us some butter. Come on, Darren. Please cut. Okay, guys, you're gonna make some butter. Where did you get these jars? You've had <laughs> the jars, you weirdo. Where were they and where have you been I'm hiding these things? things? I'm hiding them from you because you'll use them for silly stuff. Anyway, this is going to be butter. So that's the cream. Now what has to happen is you guys have to shake those jars really hard for like six to ten minutes, okay? So do you want to see who can make butter fast? Okay, I said that really weird. Who can make butter first? Is it going to be you, Emily, or you, Darren? Okay, so what happens when the butter in there? You'll see. Start shaking it. We're going to do it for two minutes. And then we'll see. We'll check it. Eek. Oh man, Emily looks serious. 
<laughs> Don't hit yourself in the face. <laughs> I'm trying not to, but this is impossible. Why us, why us? You might want to not do it towards your face. There you go. Keep shaking hard. I don't think that'll work, guys. Yeah, this is a lot more relaxing than what you're doing. Why? I don't even know It's how. only been 30 seconds, guys. Are you serious? Oh, it's doing it! Come on, two minutes and then you'll be able to see a difference. We'll check it. Keep shaking, 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 shaking. This is going to be a nightmare for my life. I feel something forming in there. Do you? Yeah. Do you feel something forming? Sorry, it might just be bubbles. I don't know, I feel something. Like I don't know. There's a small ball in there or something. Who's going to have butter first? Ow! Yeah! What are you doing, Emily? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I do when I crack under pressure. Let's open it and see how far you've gotten. Mm. <gasps> mm. Ooh, look at that. You guys are making butter. Jesus. Almost there. This is horrifying. No. Wait, let my arms get a rest. Yeah. All right, we can't wait too long. Why will it just start? It might. You might destroy the butter. Can we? Uh, shaking me, no yes, it is. All right, go, guys. Oh my gosh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, now this really gonna be so sore. Just keep shaking, really, 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 Giving up. No? I have you. Yeah. You guys have it. Twice! My arms are going to sneeze. Serious napping tonight. Keep going, keep going. How much longer? You have like a minute. What? And before we check it. You got it. We're cheesy toast. We probably use about this much butter for cheesy toast. Boy, that's going on my ribbon. I made you ice cream. You're making me butter. You made us water? No, you're making me butter. Oh. You hear any sound? There's nothing in there. No room. Right. Where the I slap? I'm your electric gate. <laughs> uh, how dare you? What's up? I'm your electric gate. I'm your electric gate. Where are we going? This hurts. That tree has green leaves. And so does that one. Sort of. Oh, yeah. You have to shake it hard, guys. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I can't breathe. I wish I could pass pain to someone else. Oh, it's just making your muscles stronger. That's a little bit process. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking quite a while, guys. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's it looks better. Mine looks better, huh? Well, no. Emily's did it first. Thought you guys are gonna have to keep going. First looks That is some good looking whipped cream. Wait, this is just the cream. This is not the actual butter. No, the liquid will separate. The liquid's gonna separate, and then you're gonna have a block of butter. Does a machine does this in it the is store? Science. <sighs> I gotta go back inside. Yeah, but I don't have that machine. I have two kids. Go. <sighs> All right. So it's taking a lot longer than expected. There. <laughs> <laughs> so we threw a marble in the jar. We'll see if this works a little better. It'll. Ma says it will help you mix it. Yep. That's the theory. Don't do that, Darren. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so it turns out we're going with the butters of fail. <laughs> it's not turning into butter. And it might be because it wasn't cold enough. What? But I don't know. So his, Darren's here. Open it up, bub. Still looks like whipped cream. Creamy. So we're going to put that in the fridge and let it get nice and cold and try to shake it up again and see if that will work. Put the lid on it, Darren. But Emily's, let's see it. The look on her face. It's all right. I don't know what happened, but it is thinner. Then the cream oh. we put in here, Mom. and I'm spilling it on her. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, hers definitely is not a no-go. But that's okay. We learned something here, right? I win. 
What did we learn? That I can shake the butter better. That I'm sad I might not get homemade butter on my ribeye tonight. That's what we learned. Okay? <laughs> it will not be our last attempt, guys. Fun time is over. No more making stuff with milk. Now I have to be spud or just spud. I got a tattoo. Glad that's over with. But now I got a tattoo a bunch of goats. So look at them. They're so cute. I don't want them. This is May's little doe. You're gonna pinch your fingers. <clears throat> we are not keeping her, but I still wanted to show her. So show is going to be two weekends from now. Oh, stop. And I needed a name for her. So with our names, we carry on their mother's initial, or you know, name. So May starts with an M, so I wanted an M name for her. So we decided to name her Milla Ray from one of our longtime subscribers. She doesn't miss a single video. She always has the most heartfelt comments on every single video. We get excited to see her comments. Um, just, just a really awesome subscriber. So, um, Milleray, we named this beautiful, beautiful little girl after you. Huh. That was a very productive day, guys. We got a lot of stuff done, and the day's still not over because we still have to milk. But, I got 18 kids, all worms, and I also got 12 of them tattooed. So, they're all ready for their health checks because a lot of them are going out of state, so they have to have that health certificate showing that they're not contagious or have any diseases so one of those days you don't necessarily look forward to even though it's every weekend of ours uh, but it sure feels good to be able to mark those big things off the list was able to get a lot of uh, milk products made and yeah good day so let's take a look at these babies I don't think they hate me too much hi babies Oh, the green ears. Green looks good on you. Hi. <laughs> oh, silly babies. Hi, sweet boy. All right, so they're doing good. That was a big task, marked off the list. All right, so we just got some packages. So we got some stuff. I guess we'll do an unboxing with you guys. So some of you sent us some things. So pretty cool, show you guys what we got. All right, so we got two things. This one is very cool, very, very cool. It's from a friend. <clears throat> and she makes these sock caps. She knits them and she's amazing at it. Not to mention her color choices are awesome. So, in the last one of the videos that we posted <laughs> where um, it was snowing. Remember when it was snowing, you guys? And I was like, please hold out. Anyway, we got feet of snow. And one of my friends made fun of me and said, you know there's stylish sock caps you can wear because I wear something like this because I have the big bun. So anyway, she was, she was trying to make fun of me. So another one of my friends said that she could make me these. So what she did was <laughs> she made me a sock cap and put a hole in it for my bun. Very cool. I love it. She's amazing. Those look awesome. Very cool. 
Bev, I love you. Thank you. These are amazing. Probably going to have to put them away for next year. Hopefully we won't have any more snow. But I'll be wearing them next year. All right, on to the next. This is for Baby Iris. I don't know who it's from. Hopefully on the inside somebody will tell us. Let's see here. It's like Fort Knox. All right, maybe it's really not that hard. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's obviously a blanket. Look at that. Handmade by Life So Crazy. How cool is this? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It has her name. You guys, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Thank you, she's gonna love it. Alexa is going to love this. This is the sweetest thing. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is just absolutely the sweetest. Oh, look, she is gonna love that, you guys. So precious. The Handmade by Life So Crazy, I, you know, I wish I knew who that was, but I'm definitely going to check it out. I would imagine something this beautiful. Definitely, they probably have a website, you guys. So if they do, I'm going to find it out, and I will put a link, of course. Thank you so much. This is absolutely so precious. Thank you. Oh, okay, well, there's a card, so let's see. Let's see. Welcome, little one. Crystal, my three daughters and I made this quilt for you, for your new granddaughter. There's lots of love and prayers for a long, healthy, happy life in each stitch. Barbara and girls. Life's so crazy on social media. You guys, this is such a beautiful blanket. You have to check her out. Thank you, Barbara and girls. This is, this is awesome. Thank you. All right, guys, it has been a long day. Got a lot accomplished. I'm gonna sit here by this fire with my family and we're gonna cook some ribeyes. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.